Hello everyone and welcome back to another ITS Gaming video. I'm Michael Grand and today we are going to be playing I mean, Broken Age and... I guess I always knew my parents were people. It's just been a while since I thought of them that way. Oh. So that's how it worked. Hmm. I just noticed something. The eyes are hexagons. What if that has something to do with the hexapals? Maybe not. That might just be a general style choice. I wonder how my mom's doing in there. So, if we weren't actually in space... Hmm... Where were we? Yeah... Oh no! Greetings! I am Shay of Luruna. Ah. Curious. If I wasn't traveling through space, then why are you speaking <laughs> in an alien tongue? <laughs> Judging by your outfit, I assume you're the leader of this place? <laughs> I'd love to talk more, but I need to go help my parents right now. <laughs> um... Gary's not responding. Either the ship is dead, or he is. What if that whistling sound is actually something caught in his throat? Maybe I could fish it out with this. Sir? You are more likely to force the object further down his throat if you attempt that. I yeah. recommend a sudden constricting pressure to the abdomen instead. Trust me, choking prevention is my business. Um, okay. Of all the things I could have taken from our ship, I end up with my useless baby radiation. He doesn't want to see my baby clothes. <laughs> okay, so, um, what do we do? I guess he's kind of stuck for the moment. Uh, oh wow, she moved down to the beach. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm Carl. No, wait. You know what? Carol. My name is Carol. Nice to meet you, <laughs> Carol. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Taking a break from the husband, the kids, and that darn cloud we live on. Trying to enjoy a little fishing here, but having some setbacks. Uh, fish aren't fish biting? Aren't biting? No. Some nitwit stole every hook in town. Trying to twist huh. this wire into a hook, but it's not working out. Hmm. Um, you lived on a cloud? Did you see that big thing crash down out there on the beach? Uh, Did you see that big thing crash down out there on the beach? Mog Chathra? Yeah, good riddance. Don't have to worry about that pain in the neck showing up and eating our girls anymore, I guess. Hmm. Uh... Did you say Mog Chathra ate girls? Are you sure he wasn't rescuing them? Rescuing? Huh! From what? Their loving families? <laughs> uh... Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Hmm. You lived on a cloud? Yeah, but it's not as nice as it sounds. Trapped up in that fluffy, soft world, never able to leave or do anything real. I can relate, actually. Mm. Good luck and good fishing, Carol. Or stay fishing beats the best day in a cloud cult. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Oh, what's that smell? Wow, this stinky, gross mess would never be allowed on the Bassa Nostra. Huh. I love it. Uh Um So what is Oh dear. Hey, it's one of my hexapal buddies. Doesn't look like he survived getting thrown off the ship. Poor guy. Hmm. Uh, what's going on up here? What is that? Ooh, wow. Looks like something really hot happened here. Yeah. Uh. I guess that's a volcano. <laughs> they look so different in the ship's cosmopedia. It's not, actually. What the? That outfit. Operation Dandelion. Are you... Are you... Me? From the future? 
Are you me from the past? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is amazing. I'm not sure the world is ready for two of us. Yeah, our parents would probably agree. One Shay is enough. Yeah. Wait, Wait who's Shay? Shay? We are Shay. My name is Alex. I don't remember ever being called Shay. Ah, it's interesting. You didn't grow up on the Bassinostra? No, I grew up on the Malaruna. Oh, then we're not... Yeah, I guess not. That's a relief. Yeah. Wait, why is that a relief? Nothing. I, I just mean the... Nothing. Hmm. Okay. So, why are you dressed like me? Were you also in Operation Dandelion? Yeah, in what I thought was a spaceship. But then, it crashed, and it wasn't in space. And there was this angry girl there, and my ship looked like a monster on the outside. You know, I remember the Malaruna looked a little funny after the crash, but I just thought it was deflated airbags and fire damage. Huh? Well, if I wasn't actually from space, that will make my trip back to Laruna a lot easier. Oh! If I can get this ship fixed. That's interesting. So maybe he wasn't. Let's try this. You're going back to Laruna? That's where I'm from. But they said it was dying. Yeah, well, if they lied to us about the space thing, who knows what else they're lying about. Yeah, that's true. Uh, my ship crashed down on the beach, didn't you see it? My ship crashed down on the beach, didn't you see it? Oh, that was your ship. <laughs> um, yeah, why? Well, I might have actually shot it down. What? Why? Well, this girl, Vela, wanted to kill the monster, Mog Chothra. And I kind of owed her one. Mog Chothra. Um, uh, let's see. How are you going to get this ship back to Laruna? How are you going to get this ship back to Laruna? Well, if I can get my space conductor up and working again, he'll take me back to a previous destination. As long as I compose the right tune into his nav song. Nav song? Nav song? You mean your nav scarf? <laughs> nav scarf? Was your mom really into knitting or something? Mine was <laughs> all about music. Everything we did on my ship was about music. Just between you and me, I'm a little sick of the music thing. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, interesting. So, looks like there might have been multiple of these things, and each one had a different theme. Hmm. Have you seen Laruna? Have you seen Laruna? What's it like? No idea. I was born on this ship, and my parents never showed me any pictures. But supposedly, it's dying. So, why do you want to get back there? Dying or not, home sounds pretty good after 300 years stuck on a sandcastle. I'm surprised there isn't an option about the 300 years thing. Um... Uh, where are your parents? Where are your parents? They lived for about 20 years after the crash, and then passed away three months apart from each other. That's one of the reasons I went into Chrysolation. But hey, maybe if I get back to Laruna, who knows? I might have some other family there. Hmm. Um... Why'd they put us on spaceships that weren't spaceships? That's a good question. Why did they put us on spaceships that weren't spaceships? Well, we were supposed to be looking for a new place to live. But maybe we were actually looking for something else, and we just didn't know it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Did you have a strange wolf on your ship who told you to hack the controls? Weird. I did get hacking ideas like that, but I'm too embarrassed to say where they came from. Hmm. Come on. Tell me where you got the idea to hack the ship. I... I started hallucinating that my cello was talking <laughs> to me. It would walk around and talk and tell me to keep secrets from my mom. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds very familiar. Did your cello have a name? Well, he called himself Merrick. <gasps> but you know I just made that up. No, 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 I, I had a Merrick too. He wanted us to rescue. Or capture. Girls. Those helpless creatures were... Oh, man. I'm kind of glad I never managed to rescue any now. Hmm. Uh, do you need any help getting your ship running? Do you need any help getting your ship running? Do I ever? 
looters have taken some critical parts. Well, maybe we have some extra parts on my ship. It's just downstairs on the beach. Shay, our ship, it uh, c came to life and flew away. Oh, Probably no. to Laruna on autopilot. Oh, nope, no, that's not what happened. Is that... Is that me from the past? <laughs> no, Dad. This is Alex. He was in Operation Dandelion years ago. Uh, Ray Volta, pleasure to meet you. His ship crashed here too, and now he wants to go back to Laruna. Well, I'll be. We're inside a Diamond Age Dandelion cruiser. Never seen one in person before. If we can get my ship running, you're welcome to come back with me and look for your ship in Laruna. Son? I think you've just found a way to catch up to your mother. I can whip up a batch of my special hull patching compound. Would that help? Sure would. I'll bet the undercarriage on this baby is shot. Leave it to me. I saw a tub with some good starter enzymes down on the beach. Ah! Oh. Yeah, so that's my dad. Ooh, cool. Uh, so what else does your ship need to fly? So Hopefully what else not does your ship parts. need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet. And gotta replace my heavy duty anti gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. Yeah, that Honest. sounds difficult. Um, who do you think has been looting your ship? Who do you think has been looting your ship? Actually. I suspect the guards outside. Something about their outfits. There aren't any guards out there. Walked off the job, eh? <laughs> Man, 300 years ago, people were a lot more professional, I'll tell you what. Um... What was it about the outfits that made what you suspicious? What was it about your guards' outfits that made you suspicious? Did they look like they were hiding loot underneath? No, it was the way they were made from the same material as my radiation shielding blast curtains. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, what's a superconductive gyro what's it cam? What's a superconductive gyro what's it cam? A superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. A small but critical part of the ship's controls. Here, I'll, I'll draw you a detailed schematic. Okay. I'll see if I can find one lying around. Hmm. So what kind of help do you need with the wiring? So, what kind of help do you need with the wiring? 